Ready? Yeah. Cole? Okay, I'm recording. Now concentrate, Jody. Tell me if you feel anything in particular about any of these objects. Nathan, someone named Ryan Clayton is here to see you. He says you know what it's about? Yes. I'll be back in a moment. Hey, where are you going? Aren't you gonna wait for Nathan? I hope we don't finish too late. I have tons of homework to do. You know, Nathan's always complaining when I get bad grades. He's always keeping me here when I should be studying. That's a discussion you'll have to have with him, Princess. I'm so hungry. When do we get a break? Yeah, I'm hungry too. We need to get Nathan out of here for once. Somewhere fancy. I'm sick of cafeteria food. Do you think he'll be long? Relax, princess. He'll be back in a minute. Hasn't Nathan been... I don't know, just like, acting kind of strange lately? He's trying to raise money for the lab at the moment. Maybe he's worried about it. You know how he is. Do 
you know this guy who's come to see Nathan? No idea. Jody, could you come here, please? What's, what's going on, Nathan? You, you look upset. Jody, this is Ryan Clayton from the CIA. The agency, the agency wants you to join their military school program at Camp Perry. Ryan's gonna take care of you from now on. You have to go with him, Jody, today. the experiments. I thought we were working together. I'm sorry, Jody. It's out of my hands. I'm begging you, Nathan. Please don't let them take me away. Hey, Jody, I know. It's difficult, but you need to understand this is a great opportunity for you. You can tell the CIA to fuck off, because I'm not going anywhere. Jesus, listen up, Miss Holmes. I don't give a shit about your pathetic adolescent pouting, all right? You can rant and rave all you want, but you'll shut your mouth and do as you're told. Go fuck yourself. That's it. Let's go. Come here. Stop immediately. Go get my things. <laughs> All the essentials. We've got everything you need at Camp Perry. Thank <laughs> you. 
Princess. I'll come and see you as soon as I can. I'll never let you down. You know that, don't you? I'll always be there for you. 
time to go. It's Ryan. Ryan! I was just wondering if you got my email. What, what, wait, what, what email? The one I sent three days ago. You know, I've, I've actually been having problems with my computer. What, what was the email about? Dinner, tonight, fancy restaurant. <laughs> anyway, it, it's too late now, so maybe another time? Shit. Shit, I'm so sorry. I... You, no, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so... Um, uh, sure, but I... How about around eight? Just... Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a kick-ass bottle of wine. See you later. Now I get why you blasted my computer. You didn't want me to see Ryan. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. Fuck this. Fuck this! We're not gonna start this again. I'm not yours, Aiden. I can have a relationship with whoever I want. This is my life. Oh, do you fucking hear me? This is my life. You know what? I happen to think Ryan is great. Right? He's charming, he's intelligent, he's funny. And I think I'm falling for him. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's seven o'clock. I have an hour to make dinner, tidy up, and make myself look. The trash can in the kitchen. You know, you're wasting your time, Aiden. You're not gonna stop me from seeing Ryan. Books, okay, on the bookshelf. Oh my God. 
God. Oh my God, the dinner. Okay, there's, there's got to be something in the kitchen. Okay, great. Dirty clothes in the basket in the bathroom. Aiden, don't be a pain in the ass. How to find something I can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. Asian beef, huh? I mean, that looks good. It's not too complicated. Curried chicken with oven-baked vegetables. It'll take some time in the oven, but it seems doable. Pizza delivery. I mean, it's... Not exactly gourmet, but it, it, no preparation, no mess. I mean, it could be an option. Come on. Yeah. Asian beef. I mean, it looks suitably exotic. <laughs> as long as I don't manage to fuck it up. Thanks, Aiden. So far, so good. Oh, crap. Crap, he's early. I'm coming!
haven't finished cooking. Jeez, I better hurry or we'll have nothing to eat. Ginger. It's supposed to be an aphrodisiac. I mean, it's not in the recipe, but... Come on, you don't need that. All right, add the sake for flavor. Oh. I think I'm beginning to like cooking. Ryan, you are gonna love this.
should I wear? Oh, hello, Ryan. Oh, do you like it? Classic, elegant, a je ne sais quoi. I don't want to give them the wrong idea. Oh. Oh, hi, Ryan. I've been waiting for you. I don't know. Oh, hey, Ryan. Yeah, whatever. I just, like, threw these old things on, because... Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Is it not enough effort? Hot. He is gonna see a whole new side of me. Might as well just give up, Aiden. Okay? This date is going on. Period. I didn't behave yourself. This is important to me, and I'm counting on you. I... <laughs> uh, Chateau Margot, 2001. The guy in the store said it was a pretty good year. That sounds good to me, so... Okay. Sorry about the mess. I mean, I just moved in, so it's... No, no problem. Looks lived in. Why don't you sit? Um, I'll get the, um... the thing that opens the wine. <laughs> You want me to open it? No, oh, no, I'll do it. <laughs> T 
to your new apartment. To my new apartment. <laughs> oh, so when did you move in? Um, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, the agency found it for me and all furnished and everything, which is, it's actually the first place I've ever had just by myself. So. It's weird getting used to the idea of it. <laughs> and how about you? Where where do you live? Oh, I uh, have a place just outside of town. Yeah, it's small, but you know it's got a little garden and it's pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. And did you did you grow up here? Or? No, no. I, I was born in Oregon. Yeah, my parents and brothers still live there, but I, I moved out when I was sixteen. Sixteen? Oh. oh. Did you? get kicked out or something? Uh, well, things were pretty chaotic at home. My, my stepfather liked to beat me when he had too much to drink, and uh, I just decided to get out before one of us went too far. Um, how did you end up joining the CIA? I, uh, I went through college, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Uh, tried the army, you know, looking for the action, travel, adventure, <laughs> long enough to realize that wasn't for me. <laughs> and when a CIA agent recruiter approached me, I, I jumped at it. I should probably, you know, I'm gonna go check on the dinner because this cooking thing, it's a whole new adventure for me. <laughs> you need help? No, but why don't you go sit and more wine would be nice. <laughs> okay. Ah, Asian beef, right? Yeah. Is... No, I was sent to China for a year. I love Asian food. Oh, well. Do not get your hopes up, because this is probably the second time that I've cooked, and I would rather not talk about the first time. Mm. This is good. Good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. So we've been working together now for what? what two years? I know almost nothing about you. I mean, there's nothing much to say. I grew up with my parents on the DPA campus. And then... You know, your parents, do you, uh, you still see them? No. No, I don't. I'm... I think they were just terrified about how different I was. So Nathan and Cole, they, they brought me up more or less. They taught me how to cope with Aiden, how to accept myself as I am. I mean, it wasn't always easy, but I'm making progress. Yeah, did, did Nick... Are you sure everything's okay? Yes, everything's fine. Aiden is just... He's just feeling a little nervous. It's okay, really. It's like... Is he here now? Listening to us? And... Yeah. Yeah, he never leaves me. Uh, what about you? Do you, have, do you have any family here? No. No, my, uh, my parents are still in Oregon. Go to see them as little as possible. <laughs> and are you, um... Are you married or anything? No, no. I, I, yes, I mean, I, I, I was. You know, my ex-wife and I have been separated for uh, two years. And, uh, yeah, I couldn't work. I mean, it, in the end, it didn't. You know, we had our good times, but uh, eventually we decided to go our separate ways. How about you? Anyone on your radar?
I've got Aiden, so. I mean, anyone in our world. You know, Aiden kind of has always made people run away. Or, or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just too odd for anyone to be interested in. You're special, Jody. Aiden's got nothing to do with this. I think I better go. No, Ryan. Aiden is very possessive, and he doesn't want to share you with anyone. So I think you got to work it out with him. Are you happy? Because you got what you wanted. He's gone, and now you can have me to your fucking self. I really hope you're deliriously fucking happy. And you can just fucking float in your invisible world and watch me cry.